Building a quadcopter is fun, easy, and not that expensive. But getting started can seem really tricky. This video will show you everything you need to know. Here are the parts you'll need. 450 millimeter glass fiber quadcopter frame, some 1000 kilovolt brushless motors, 9x4.7 propellers, electronic speed controllers, an AC charger, a lipo pack battery, KK2.1.5 multi-rotor LCD flight control board, servo lead extensions, bullet connectors, XT60 connectors, a 9-channel transmitter with an 8-channel receiver. I also use thread lock, string tubing, mounting tape, and Velcro straps. Tools you will need include a clamp and soldering iron. Once you have all your tools and components, you're ready to build. Start by attaching your four motors to the quadcopter arms. Some thread lock will help you make sure they don't come loose in the air. Once you've attached motors to all four arms, pass the wires through. Now grab your ESCs. The three wires coming off of each are too long, so you'll need to cut them short. Strip them and tin them. Next, solder female bullet connectors onto the wires for all four of your ESCs. Cut some small pieces of shrink tubing and secure them using the soldering iron. Now you need to attach those ESCs to the base plate of your quadcopter. Make sure you solder red to the positive as you go around and attach all four ESCs. Take two of those wires that you clipped from the ESCs. You're going to use these to create a battery attachment. One side is already stripped and tinned, so strip and tin the other. Solder them to one of your XT connectors like this. Then slip some more tubing on and shrink them down. And solder the two wires to your quadcopter plate. Pay attention to positive and negative. Time to attach the arms. Flip the plate over and screw the arms on. Remember that the two red arms are usually on the front. Once you have all four arms attached, plug the ESCs into the motors. Secure the ESCs with zip ties. And snip off the ends. Take five of your servo lead extensions and plug them into channels one through five on the receiver. Make sure the white side is up. You'll plug the other ends into these ports on your control board. Notice on the back that they are marked as your aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. This time make sure the white is on the inside. Your setup should look like this. And remember that the red arms are forward. Make sure everything feels tight. Now you need to plug those motors in. Take the wire from each ESC and plug it into the control board like this. Start with your left front quadcopter arm. Plug power from the plate into the red port on the control board. And plug in the buzzer that will give a handy audio warning when activating and deactivating the board. Time to power up! Turn on your transmitter. Then plug your battery in and your control board should light up. One of the first things you can do is run a receiver test. Press menu, go down to receiver test, then press enter. You'll see readings like these. When you push your throttle up, it should say full and pulling it down should say idle. 
test that your rudder reads left and right. Check your elevator for forward and backwards. And your aileron for left and right. There are a lot of things you need to do to calibrate your control board with your quadcopter. And there are other people who can explain it to you way better than I can. YouTube has lots of helpful videos, but I found this one from Pro RC Hobby to be especially good. Pause my video and get your control board all set up. Once you've got everything working, you're ready to secure all your components and get ready for flight. I used Velcro strips and a strap to hold the battery in place. Screw on the top plate of your quadcopter frame. You can feel how much sturdier it is now. To attach the control board, I used the foam case that it came in. Again, some Velcro strips hold the case in place. Test it again to make sure everything is working. Push your throttle down and to the right to arm your quadcopter and make sure all your motors are turning correctly. With your control board in safe mode, it's time to attach your propellers. Make sure you attach the right props to the right motors based on direction of spin. And you can test your props for balance like this. Once your propellers are on tight, you're ready for your first test flight. Flying takes some practice. Make sure you screw those props on tight or they will come loose during flight. Some flights will land well. And others will trim your trees for you. No matter what, keep practicing and have fun with your new quadcopter. Oh. <laughs>